your reaction to them having a press conference at this time? Well, I think they're trying to stir things up and trying to get things, and, and Casey is absolutely as happy as she can be that they're doing that, that they're increasing the reward and they're trying to look for Erica. They, we, she thinks that uh, that should help find her. And what is Sandy's reaction? I didn't talk to Sandy. Okay. And I walked in on the tail end of it, but I, basically they said, we know that Erica did not go to live with Nan. What are your thoughts on that? I think that's a direct quote from the sheriff. Well, uh, we don't disagree with them at all. After they've gone through all this publicity and told what their angle was, they discovered later, back in September, that Nan is not who they thought she was and that they did not leave her with her biological grandmother. They left her with someone else who has taken Erica and has cut off their communication with Erica. Do you think this is an indication of kind of the case coming to dead ends? They said hundreds of leads. Um, but I mean, are they, your clients have been dealing with them as well. Are, are they kind of at, at the end of the rope? Every time they've called my clients to ask them to look at a photographic lineup, they've done so. But that hasn't happened in months. Um, and they've probably, it's been a month and a half since they've had any contact at all. Like December 13th. Um, Casey was in the hospital, Sandy was at the hospital with her down in Fayetteville, and the FBI came to the hospital. They never communicated with them. Uh, the FBI left. Uh, Casey was released from the hospital, and they've never been back. Okay. Does that concern you that they haven't contacted them since that time, or have needed to contact them, or Does it concern me? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know that it, it particularly concerns me as far as representing them. Um, evidently, they haven't had any reason to, to contact them. I would expect them to if they did.